Mammut started as a small company making ropes out of hemp. Today, we are a fully integrated outdoor manufacturer. Every product we make is designed for highest functionality, quality, and durability. However, the production of outdoor products also has an impact on our planet. Our aim is to contribute in finding solutions that lower our ecological footprint. Hey, my name is Cara Norris. I'm a professional alpinist, climber, and mountain guide. So I get to spend tons of time in the mountains. The mountains and the outdoor is not only my workplace, but it's also the base for my passion, so I care deeply about them. As safety is quite crucial in climbing, I have to change my ropes quite often to be able to rely on them and focus on my climbing. So I guess I change my ropes five to six times a year. And I've always been asking myself, what should I do with these ropes instead of throwing them away? There must be a better way. Garo is not the only one questioning the single use of ropes. At Mammut, we are working hard to find a solution to this challenge. Ropes are Mammut's heritage, and we have been producing them for more than 150 years. This legacy comes along with a strong sense of responsibility and the ambition to constantly improve. We set up a dedicated project group of engineers, climbing specialists and designers to come up with a solution. The goal was clear to give ropes a second life and to make them part of a circular economy. Analyzing our carbon footprint, we face the fact that ropes make up 14% of our yearly emissions. In order to achieve our goal of reaching carbon neutrality by 2050, we needed to tackle the rope's footprint first. To solve this problem, we started with what we already knew. First, the production of ropes is an energy-intensive process, and it creates waste. Second, the lifetime of a rope depends strongly on how often it's used, and on average, a rope reaches the end of its life after about five years. So we had to find a way to give the ropes a second life in order to decrease our own emissions in the process. For decades, ropes reached a dead end after their production, use, and end of life. So we were looking for a new way to collect old ropes, regenerate them, and design new products with this material. That's why we launched the Close the Loop Project in Switzerland. Together with the NGO Protect Our Winters, we give climbers the opportunity to send their old ropes to us at Mammut for recycling, no matter the brand. In addition, we set up more than 50 collection points in outdoor stores and climbing gyms across Switzerland so climbers can return their ropes conveniently after their workout. From there, they are collected and taken to Mammut headquarters. Together with rope waste generated from our own production process, the ropes are sent to our partner Aquafil, and combined with other nylon waste, the regeneration starts. Once in Slovenia at the Aquafil regeneration plant, the ropes go through eight different steps that include preparation, washing, and eventually the depolymerization. This allows to regenerate nylon waste back to raw material in order to produce high-quality echinil nylon. The echinil yarn is then weaved into a new fabric, out of which the new t-shirt is finally produced. With this process, we are able to make sure that the ropes enter a circular economy and can be given a second life. Over the last three months, we collected around 300 ropes, which equals about 750 kilograms. By using regenerated echinil nylon yarn, we were able to save nearly 70% of CO2 emissions compared to t-shirts made from virgin material. Expanding the project, we aim to vastly increase the amount of ropes to be collected and work even more towards a circular economy. Join us to close the loop.